and thank you for trusting News 3. I'm Teresa Whitaker. And I'm Phil Scoggins. Digging into the background of Lafayette shooter John Rusty Hauser, we uncovered a Georgia law that might raise some eyebrows. News 3's Cassandra Webb has spent days researching the law. She joins us now with the details. Cassandra. Phil, Teresa, right here, all this paperwork. These are my notes from the just the last few days, not to mention the dozens of emails I sent out to confirm just one thing. That if you're involuntarily committed for mental health issues in the state of Georgia, that record expires after five years with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. What's more is it also expires in the system that checks whether or not you can legally buy a gun. According to the FBI, once the five-year period has expired for a mental health entry, Georgia cancels it and it's no longer available in the NICS or National Instant Criminal Background Check System. Mental health professionals say no law can be perfect. What the legislators are probably trying to do is achieve a balance because uh, people get involuntarily committed for a variety of reasons. This is sort of an attempt to get some control of a situation that is potentially catastrophic. To be involuntarily committed is a serious matter. Dr. Shroff says it's the taking away of someone's rights, but to limit their ability to buy a gun forever, well, that's a slippery slope. Because you cannot commit one way or the other. Um, is, as I said, is this the best piece of legislation that is going to make sure that we're all safe? No one knows, uh, but it is a step in trying to limit the, the ability for someone to walk in when they're not well and do something that they will later regret and the whole community regrets later. But adding a step to the law might be helpful. So it's not uh, a binding five year and then it's done, but it could be a binding so many year thing. And then if that person wants a gun, they have to go in for an assessment and then someone will decide at that point whether they're dangerous or not. I reached out to representatives from GeorgiaCarry.org, that's a gun carry advocacy group, to hear how they feel about this law. The vice president of the organization said, quote, the expiration date seems counterproductive. I don't see the purpose. Reporting in the studio, Cassandra Webb, WRBL News 3, on your side. Thank you, Cassandra. According to the FBI, once a person is banned from purchasing a gun because a disqualifying mental health record, they will be federally banned for life. That is, unless they apply and receive relief from the ATF or they get relief from the state.